So is there such a thing as bad mood foods? Well, absolutely. And this past Christmas and the past few weeks have likely been full of them. So if, if you're feeling sluggish and irritable and dejected and maybe even a little depressed right now, then lifting your mood could be as simple as just switching away from these bad mood foods onto happy foods. So in today's video, we're going to find out what those bad mood foods are and why they leave us feeling so fed up with life and miserable. But we're also going to look at foods that create, and I mean literally create, happy feelings inside our brain, leaving us feeling optimistic and positive and hopeful. And that is regardless of whatever stressful situations you might have going on at the moment. But first, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name is Fran Pemberthy. My training is in nutrition and I love talking about nutritious foods for health. I'm the founder of the Live Well for Good courses. We teach you to ditch the whole dieting mentality and nourish your body back to a healthy weight and improve your health at the same time. I'm releasing videos every week, so please do subscribe click the bell so that you are notified for every new video. So let's get into this. Now the food we eat does affect our brains because the food is full of chemicals and our brains are full of chemicals. So when these two mixes of chemicals come together, one of two things can happen. The right mix is made and then we're left feeling happy, relaxed and focused or the wrong mix is made and then we're left dejected, depressed and out of sorts. Now the brain chemicals are called neurotransmitters and they carry messages between all our brain cells. I mean, for instance, there's one called dopamine and that carries messages of alertness and focus. Another one called serotonin carries messages of happiness and relaxation. So how does the food we eat affect those neurotransmitters? Well, these are made out of amino acids and that's from the protein in your meal. And the second way is because the vitamins and minerals from your meal are like the busy little factory workers that are converting those amino acids into those neurotransmitters. Those specific nutrients are in those happy foods they contain everything that's needed to build those happy feelings. Nutrients like the B vitamins and then minerals like, you know, copper and, and magnesium and manganese and potassium and zinc. And I want to give a special mention to zinc because it's a top um, UK deficiency nutrient. And when we don't have enough of it, then the side effects can include like mood swings and anger and depression. Now, on the flip side of this, those bad mood foods don't contain those nutrients. It tends to be like our ultra processed foods, our fast foods and our baked goods that are quite sort of missing in a lot of nutrients. And plus, of course, these foods are still full of chemicals. The problem is that they're not natural ones. And so they actually disrupt our brain and interfere with those messages. So these foods are losers in two ways. They don't have the nutrients needed and also they have these artificial chemicals that are just leaving us feeling depressed and dejected. And now I'll walk you through a closer look through what the bad mood food list, and that's not easy to say, would be and what a happy food list would be. But first, if you're finding this teaching um, helpful, then please, as always, do let me know in the comments below. So let's have a look at this bad mood food list because these are powerful artificial chemicals that really disrupt all this delicate brain chemistry. Number one would be our processed added sugar, which is literally everywhere in our diet. Number two would be the man-made fats like margarines and cheap cooking oils and all of the baked and the fried and the fast foods that come from that. These are unnatural, they're very hard for the body to process and they tend to bung up all the body systems. And then it would be caffeine, alcohol, and what about those artificial sweeteners and all of the additives and added chemicals that go into fast foods? These are all disrupting those neurotransmitters. 
Now, I'm not saying that these things should be gone from our lives for good. That would be totally unrealistic for most of us. No, they're, they're going to play a part, but they're fine if they're kept in moderation and then most of us cope with them just fine. The problem comes when they start to take over and our lives are full of them. And it's worth pointing out as well, actually, that we all have very different genetic makeup. So some of us cope better with these artificial chemicals than others do. Some can eat away and nothing affects them. Others get very affected. So it's, it's worth getting to read your body signals and find out if you are responding to these chemicals or whether they're not really affecting you too much. So start to monitor that and begin to read what your body is saying to you. And now how about we load up on all of these happy foods? This is the fresh fruit and vegetables. I mean, I've listed a few key ones here for you. And, and I'm especially wanting to point out the dark green leafy vegetables. But don't be limited by this list. Just explore and find out lots of new fruit and vegetables that you can add to your diet. Then there's the whole grains, the whole wheat, the brown rice, the oats, the millets. Then it's things like lentils and beans and pulses. And actually brewer's yeast is a really great source of the B vitamins. And then there's the protein, which is going to be those, the start of those amino acids, the building blocks and the helpful fats. So that's things like nuts and seeds, avocado, yogurt, eggs, fish, especially those oily fish lean meat and then turkey and chicken, liver and kidney and seafood and especially oysters because they're very full of zinc. Now there are two extra happy foods that I want to mention and one is green tea because it contains a chemical called L-theanine and this chemical really promotes calmness but with focus and alertness inside your brain. And the second one is chocolate because Anything that is over 70% cocoa is actually a great source of iron and calcium and magnesium and potassium and zinc and flavonoids. But unfortunately, if it's under 70% cocoa, then it's just full of sugar. Now is the perfect time for you to be loading up with these happy foods to carry you through these winter months. Now, I really want to make this year the best year you've had in supporting yourself in really laying this foundation for having the best mental health that you can. Because we'll always have really challenging circumstances and stressful things going on in our lives, won't we? But imagine how much better you could cope with them if you are encouraging all of these happy neurotransmitters in your brain every single day. I mean, this is yet another reason to eat a wide range of nutritious foods that are full of those 50 essential nutrients that we really do need to thrive, not just in our body, but also in our minds. So I hope you've enjoyed this training. If you have, then do click the like and hit the share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider doing that. Drop me your comments below. Let me know how you're going to care for yourself and what are your favourite foods that make you feel happy. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next video.